welcome back. We're on stanza four now as we walk through our hymn, God's Own Child, I gladly say it, LSB 594. Talking about this question, who am I? Who are you? And letting this hymn guide us to answer that question, because that's that's the beautiful part about hymnody, is it can give you words when you're like, well, I don't know how to answer. Well, here's a great hymn written by Neumeister, right? 17th century hymn that gives you that answer. So now we're at stanza four. Stanza one, who am I in relation to God the Father? And I'm God's own child, baptized into Christ, a child of paradise. That's who you and I are. And as that, as those sons and daughters, we are in Jesus forgiven all of our sins. In the waters of holy baptism, cleansed and washed away is our original sin and all actual sins as we believe, teach, and confess. And because of this, now the devil has no hold on us. He has nothing against us anymore. We are not his. We are not under his tyranny any longer. We are children of paradise on a pilgrimage toward the new heavens and the new earth. That's who you and I are. So what does that then say as we get to stanza four about the wages of sin, meaning death? Death, you cannot end my gladness. I am baptized into Christ. When I die, I leave all sadness to inherit paradise. Though I lie in dust and ashes, face assurance brightly flashes. Baptism has the strength divine to make life immortal mine. So what does this mean with death, who am I in relation to death? This thing that terrifies everybody, this thing that drives everybody in the world. I mean, death does, right? We look at death and it, it determines so much of what everyone does on a daily basis. Why do people who are older and up in those years go to the doctor a million times a week? Well, one, it's to be comfortable a little bit, but it's also to postpone death, <laughs> to put death away. I mean, no one wants to die young. When you see... <laughs> When we see a four-year-old in the casket, we don't go, they lived a long, happy, blessed life. We say that for the person who's 104. Why have we made death this thing to be afraid of and something to prolong? Remember what St. Paul said, to live is Christ and to die is gain. We sing it in another hymn that death speeds my life's endeavor to live with Christ forever, to be with Christ forever. Death, as St. Paul Gerhard sings in his hymn, why should cross and trial grieve me? I think that's 756, I believe. He says, Christ has made my death a portal from the strife of this life to his joy immortal. Yes, death in Jesus, because you are baptized, is now that portal that leads to life immortal. Death is not the end. No, here you struggle in the church militant, and death is your entrance unto the church triumphant, where you're with the angels, archangels, and all the company of heaven, praising God unto the ages of ages, living with him, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's what death is now for you. Not something to be afraid of, but to smile at and say, bring it on. My Lord Jesus went through you already, and he's carrying me through you as well unto paradise eternal. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.